Have you ever heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words? It's true. Check it out. I think you get the picture. Hey guys, Robbie Sonda here with a little godly advice for living a more meaningful life. Did you know that the brain can process images 60,000 times faster than it can words? It's no wonder Facebook and Instagram and other social media sites are alive and well and why we fill our cameras and computers with thousands and thousands of pictures. It's because we're fascinated with images, especially men. It's how we're wired. Guys, I know this is a hard subject, and it's one some of you have struggled with for years. But I'm not here to beat you up, make you feel guilty, or try to solve it for you in five minutes. I'm here to encourage you to live lives that are proactive, especially if you find yourself with a lot of idle time on your hands. There's a common cycle to most addictive behaviors, and it goes something like this. Try not to do the behavior. Have success for a few days or weeks. Fail. Feel guilty. Fall completely off the wagon. Have a period of guilty pleasure until you just can't stand it anymore, and then start the cycle all over again. Shame, frustration, and despair increase. Sound familiar? Well, I want to challenge you not to focus on what you don't want, but to focus on what you do want. Do you remember when you were a kid first learning to ride a bike and you're tentatively going down the road and then you see a, a rock in the middle of the road about 100 feet away? And as you're getting closer, you're thinking to yourself, don't hit the rock, don't hit the rock, don't hit the rock, don't hit the rock. And guess what? You hit the rock. That's because in life, we generally don't get what we want. We get what we picture. So instead of picturing all this porn and thinking, don't hit the rock, don't look at the porn, don't look at it, why don't we start focusing on what we do want, living a life of purity. Philippians 4.8 hits this on the head. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. While porn might be commonplace and even considered manly in today's culture, let's not kid ourselves. It's not pure, noble, excellent, or praiseworthy in God's eyes. I remember speaking to a friend of mine once who struggled with porn. And I just asked him, I said, how often do you think you'd look at it if you were handcuffed to your six-year-old daughter? He just chuckled and said, well, probably never. And I asked why. And he said, well, because I'd like to model a life of purity, not perversion. I said, start picturing that. Guys, let me give you a few practical tips that you can actually begin doing today. Number one, admit your struggle. Number two, pray daily for God's strength. Number three, start picturing what you do want, a life of purity, not a life of struggle. Number four, get into the Word daily. Start memorizing scripture like Philippians 4, 8. And number five, seek accountability. In the meantime, let me leave you with a few encouraging pictures that I hope become seared in your brain. Be sure to watch it to the end, especially if you'd like a little extra help. In the meantime, God bless.
Manly Moments is excited to be endorsing Covenant Eyes. Covenant Eyes is the number one app for quitting porn, and it could be your best next step. You can check out the link in the description below, and don't be surprised if it's the best decision you've made all year. In the meantime, go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And we will see you around.